Well, Beth and I are headed to the ranch and then we're going to pick up the uh, camp and we're heading out on the road today. We are in Beth's favorite store. Actually, she hates this store. But uh, we had a little emergency with the, uh, with the camp. That'll be fun to share. I'm hoping that our trip has not been uh, 87. <laughs> to hear the <laughs> What are you buying, Beth? Jacks. For the trailer. <laughs> no, we were planning on we were planning on being on the road tomorrow. Well, Beth and I had trouble with the camp last night. Actually, no trouble with the camp, but we had trouble with the lift jack on the tongue. And it turns out that the uh, shear pin, well, I can show you right down here, the shear pin broke. And it broke um, in a position where we were already sitting on the hitch and we couldn't lift up or move or anything. Beth and I didn't get all this figured out until about nine o'clock. We are expecting to be in Sonoma and in bed with a glass of wine watching Netflix by nine o'clock last night. So everything is good. We, uh, we emailed our uh, builder of this camp last night at about 10 and typical of Mike and all the crew at Timberline. Um, I had a message waiting for me before we were even up. Number one, that he's gonna help take care of it for us and um, offering all the support he could. So we're gonna, we got it all situated now. We're back on the hitch. Um, we're gonna take this to a local uh, RV place and they're gonna switch out the um, jack Beth and I have opted to go with a little heavier duty jack, an electric one. I actually prefer to have the crank because I like the exercise, but the electric one has more lift on it and that's going to help us because the camp sits so high up. Last issue before we pull out of here to go to the RV repair shop, um, I've got that flip foot that you saw on a prior video, I'll put a link up here. That right now is swinging free and it doesn't latch up because I can't lift the jack. So um, we need to tie it up. Beth actually thought of this. We've got some paracord that I always carry and um, I'm gonna use paracord off my spool tool and we'll just spin off a short length, whatever we need. And that should be good. Okay, problem solved. Always carry some paracord in your uh, go bag. I'm gonna open the gate for Beth and we are heading down the road. Central Coast County. Santa Clara County Fair, 1960, Tetons. I'm wondering if we need to change out the map. We'll have to see. All right, we have gone from collecting lanterns to now collecting old prints. Very cool. Seats left and right for people to, to go there and boo, uh, boo candidates they don't like. The remaining candidates, two of the 